His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with their Majesties, their Highnesses, their Excellencies, the Kings, Princes and leaders of Arabic and Islamic countries on the occasion of Al Mawlid Al Nabawi. His Majesty expressed his good wishes on the occasion and wished them good health and happiness and for the countries and people, for their progress and prosperity. He wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Al Mawlid Al Nabawi. His Royal Highness congratulated His Majesty on the occasion, recalling the blessed march of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the values of moderation, coexistence and tolerance of Islam that is now an approach continuously followed by Bahrain through consolidating these values thanks to the wise visions of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty good health and happiness and many happy returns for His Majesty, Bahrain and its people, as well as for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of McLaren team winning first place in the Azerbaijan Formula One a Grand Prix. His Royal Highness affirmed that the team's successes is a qualitative addition to Bahrain's achievements in the sports field, which contributes to enhancing the status of the kingdom in this field and on the world sports map in a way that achieves the aspirations of His Majesty for further progress and prosperity of the Kingdom. He wished His Majesty good health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended a celebration on the occasion of Al Mawlid Al Nabawi after Al Asa prayer at Al Sakia Mosque in the presence of their Highnesses, the Sons, Senior Royal Family Members, Representatives Council Speaker, Shura Council Chairman, Ministers, Chairman and Members of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Senior Officials and Religious Figures. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى والصلاة والسلام على الرحمة المهداة والنعمة المسداة سيد الأولياء وخيرة الأصفياء نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه السادة النجباء الأصفياء الأتقياء الذين رفعوا لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله إلى عنان السماء وعلى كل من سار على نهجه واقتفى أثره برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك مملكة البحرين المعظم 
حفظكم الله ورعاكم الحضور الكريم تتواصل هذه الدروس المباركة واللقاءات الإيمانية التي أمر بها سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المعظم يحدون فيها تطلب الأجور التي أخبر عنها رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم حينما قال وما اجتمع قوم في بيت من بيوت الله يتلون كتاب الله ويتدارسونه بينهم إلا نزلت عليهم السكينة وغشيتهم الرحمة وحفتهم الملائكة وذكرهم الله في من عنده ودرسنا اليوم في بيان مظهر من مظاهر رحمة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ربنا تبارك وتعالى مخبراً عن رسوله نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ ويخبر صلى الله عليه وسلم عن نفسه قائلاً إنما بعثت رحمة مسدا وإن من أوضح مظاهر رحمته صلى الله عليه وسلم بالعالمين دعوتهم إلى كلمة التوحيد لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله هي كلمة السعادة والنجاة لا إله إلا الله هي كلمة الفلاح والنجاح لا إله إلا الله كلمة عالية المنازل كثيرة الفضائل هي حق الله على العبيد قال تعالى فاعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله أي لا معبود بحق إلا الله الدعوة إلى التوحيد هي دعوة جميع الرسل عليهم الصلاة والسلام قال تعالى وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنَا فَاعْبُدُونَ وقال تعالى وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا أن اعبدوا الله واجتنبوا الطاغوت فمنهم من هدى الله ومنهم من حقت عليه الضلالة لذا إن المتأمل في نصوص الكتاب والسنة يدرك أهمية التوحيد الذي أرسل ربنا تبارك وتعالى به الرسل وأنزل به الكتب وأنزل من أجله الكتب وهو أن الغاية من أجلها التي خلق الله الخلق هي إفراده سبحانه وتعالى بالعبادة والإعراض عما سواه قال تعالى وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون ثم إن التوحيد هو فطرة الله التي فطر الناس عليها قال تعالى فأقم وجهك للدين حنيفا فطرة الله التي فطر الناس عليها لا تبديل لخلق الله ذلك الدين القيم ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون وهذا الذي أخبر به نبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم حينما قال كل مولود يولد على الفطرة يضاف إلى ذلك أن الغاية في الدعوة إلى التوحيد أن الله سبحانه وتعالى أنزل جميع كتبه من أجل أن يوحد سبحانه وتعالى ولا يشرك في عبادته شيء قال تعالى ألف لام راء كتاب أحكمت آياته ثم فصلت من لدن حكيم خبير ألا تعبدوا إلا الله إنني لكم منه نذير وبشير بل إن تحقيق التوحيد سبب رئيس في حصول الأمن الأمن التام في الدنيا والآخرة قال تعالى الذين آمنوا ولم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم أي بشرك الذين آمنوا ولم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم أولئك لهم الأمن وهم مهتدون فإذا حصل الأمن وشاع الأمان كثرت الخيرات وتنزلت البركات يقول ربي سبحانه وتعالى ولو أن أهل القرى آمنوا واتقوا لفتحنا عليهم بركات من السماء والأرض 
ولكن كذبوا فأخذناهم بما كانوا يكسبون ختاما فإن التوحيد شرط في قبول العمل قال تعالى قل إنما أنا بشر مثلكم يوحى إلي أنما إلهكم إله واحد فمن كان يرجو لقاء ربه فليعمل عملا صالحا ولا يشرك بعبادة ربه أحدا يقول حبيبنا صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه إذا جمع الله الأولين والآخرين يوم القيامة ليوم لا ريب فيه نادى مناد من كان أشرك في عمل عمله لله فليطلب ثوابه من عند غير الله فإن الله أغنى الشركاء عن الشرك سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة حضورنا الكريم تعزيزاً لما تقدم من بيان أهمية التوحيد وهو الإقرار لله سبحانه وتعالى باستحقاق العبادة له وحده لا شريك له ونفي الشرك عنه نجد أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بذل جهداً كبيراً في حماية جناب التوحيد فحذر أمته تحذيراً شديداً من الشرك ومن كل ما يوصل إلى الشرك من وسائل وأسباب قولية أو فعلية صدق الله ربنا تبارك وتعالى وهو يقول قد جاءكم من الله نور وكتاب مبين يهدي به الله من اتبع رضوانه سبل السلام ويخرجهم من الظلمات إلى النور بإذنه ويهديهم إلى صراط مستقيم نسأل المولى تبارك وتعالى أن يحيينا على الإسلام والسنة وأن يعصمنا من البدعة والفتنة وأن يجمعنا جميعاً ووالدينا برسولنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في الفردوس الأعلى من الجنة اللهم صلِّ وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأزواجه وذريته وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين الأئمة المهديين والصحابة أجمعين والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم وفق لي أمرنا لما تحبه وترضاه اللهم وفق لي أمرنا لما تحبه وترضاه اللهم احفظه وإخوانه وأنجاله وأهل بيته اللهم وفقه وولي عهده الأمين وانصر بهما دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم احفظ بلدنا مملكة البحرين واجعله آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم وكل إخواننا المستضعفين من المؤمنين في كل مكان وخص منهم إخواننا في فلسطين عامة وفي غزة خاصة اللهم كلهم مؤيداً ونصيراً ومعيناً وظهيراً اللهم داوي جراحهم وعافي مبتلاهم واشف مرضاهم وتقبل موتاهم في الشهداء يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول وعمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول وعمل اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولوالد والدينا واجمعنا بهم في أعلى جنان الخلد برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين والحمد لله رب العالمين The chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Muhammad al Hajri, delivered a sermon on the blessed march of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty, grant him good health and happiness, and protect the kingdom, and bless it with stability and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership. The attendees expressed their good wishes to His Majesty on the occasion, wishing him good health, happiness, and many happy returns, and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty exchanged with them good wishes on the occasion, which is an opportunity to renew connections and bonds with the Prophet and his companions. He affirmed that the high Islamic values are manifested by this blessed occasion. When Muslims recall the blessed march of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and follow on his teachings in their lives, and instill the values of brotherhood, coexistence, and peace with everyone. 
His Majesty added that the blessed march of the Prophet consolidated the civilization of the Arabs and Muslims, which witnessed the highest levels of progress thanks to its pride in its people in Islam and the adherence to the Holy Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet. He affirmed Bahrain's approach and its royal message in spreading and consolidating the values of Islam that are based on tolerance, harmony, peace, mutual coexistence and respect for others and enhancing the values of brotherhood. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect the kingdom and its people as well as all Islamic countries and he wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns and wished the world continued peace and stability. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, also participated in the celebration in the Women's Prayer Section at Al Sakir Mosque, accompanied by members from the Council and guests. Her Royal Highness expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King on the occasion, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with good health and happiness and bless Bahrain and its people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, with further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of congratulations with Arab and Islamic leaders, Crown Princes and Prime Ministers on the occasion of Al Mawalid al Nabawi. The Kingdom of The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the Islamic world in commemorating al Nawabi al Nabawi. In the precious anniversary, it represents a cherished occasion that affirms the love of Muslims for the Prophet. More in this report. A Prophet is a selection from God. 
a divine gift and a divine grant. As Allah creates whomever He wills and chooses, He chooses the most worthy to carry the purposes of Islam and carry out its noble messages. And when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came to this world, his light began to shine on all peoples. Prophet Muhammad was chosen to carry out the most honorable duty and the greatest eternal message. He is the most honorable person in creation, morals, and guidance, combining good and unique qualities, noble traits, and high status that could not be combined in anyone of creation except him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, has fully and clearly communicated the religion of Allah, and Muslims all around the world follow on his footsteps as the true role model for humanity. On the occasion of International Ozone Day, which falls on September the 16th, and the 37th anniversary of the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer, which came this year under the slogan, Montreal Protocol Advancing Climate Action. The President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, affirmed Bahrain's keenness to contribute effectively in improving the state of the ozone layer through innovative initiatives and projects implemented in accordance with the best environmental practices thanks to royal directives. His Highness added that Bahrain took advanced steps at the regional and international levels by launching initiatives that protect the environment and the ozone layer, most notably the issuance of Royal Decree 33 of 2024 to ratify the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer, including the ratification of the Kigali Amendment. His Highness emphasised that the Council will continue to support organisations working in the refrigeration and air conditioning sectors by promoting the best international and technical practices while making progress in reducing ozone-depleting substances. He pointed out that Bahrain will reduce ozone-depleting substances by 73.5% of the average baseline next year in accordance with the requirements of the Montreal Protocol and the approved projects of the Kingdom. His Highness thanked the members of the Supreme Council for Environment and those interested in environmental affairs for providing initiatives and implementing environmental plans and studies that preserve and protect the ozone layer. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrated the world champion, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, following his victory in the World Endurance Championship in France. More in this report. The world champion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, possesses strong determination, will and courage, arrived in the Kingdom of Bahrain after winning the World Endurance Championship in France for the second consecutive time with an award in his hands that inscribes Bahrain's name in the series of global achievements. His Highness was received by the people of Bahrain who chanted his name and expressed to him the most beautiful congratulations. It was an achievement that deserved a high-level royal reception as His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Highness upon his return with an expression of pride in what His Highness has achieved for Bahrain the pride of the father in his son, and the pride of the nation in his achievement, which reflects the authentic Bahraini spirit and emphasizes their support for all of the kingdom's achievements. A high national spirit and overwhelming joy on the faces of the attendees welcoming the world champion with enthusiasm, love and gratitude, who emphasize the status of this achievement and its role in supporting Bahraini sports and raising the kingdom to advanced levels under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Representative's Council Speaker, Ahmed al Musalam affirmed that the royal vision of His Majesty the King has placed Bahrain at advanced levels in democratic work and civilised practices. On the occasion of the International Day of Democracy, the Speaker emphasised that Bahrain made pioneering democratic achievements since the launch of the Reform Project and the National Action Charter. He pointed out that democracy in the Kingdom has become a genuine societal culture witnessing popular participation and legal practice with constitutional frameworks that earn the recognition of the international parliamentary community. The speaker said that the country is following a steady democratic approach and distinguished civilizational institutional projects that have elevated the importance of democratic practices and contributed to the consolidation of the democratic culture in all aspects of life. 
He stressed the Council's keenness in cooperation with the Shura Council and the Government to implement the Royal Directives aimed at promoting the values of political action. Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh stressed that democratic principles and values in Bahrain are based on solid national constants, thanks to the democratic visions and wise approach of His Majesty the King. On the occasion of the International Day of Democracy, the Chairman pointed out that His Majesty's vision contributed to drawing a comprehensive roadmap to achieve national development and democracy, based on firm foundations on which the state of institutions and law is based. He added that democratic achievements are made through the great efforts and quality initiatives implemented by the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Al-Sala expressed pride in the influential national role played by the Legislative Authority in highlighting Bahrain's outstanding democratic progress and building parliamentary partnerships and legislative councils in brotherly and friendly countries. He said that the focus of this year's International Day of Democracy on Artificial Intelligence reflects the international interest in harnessing and investing in this technological development to serve development tools. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the international community in celebrating the International Day of Democracy, affirming that the Royal Vision has placed Bahrain at an advanced level in democratic work and civilised practices. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in celebrating the International Day of Democracy, which falls on September 15th of each year, affirming its commitment to promoting transparency, the rule of law, popular participation in political life and public affairs, and respect for human rights under the Comprehensive Development Project led by His Majesty the King. With confident steps on the path of consolidating democratic values, Bahrain offers a democratic model to be emulated in the region, stemming from the royal will that converged with the popular will at the beginning of His Majesty's reform project and the drafting of the National Action Charter, which constituted a historic launch of the National March and won the approval of 98.4% of the people. Based on these national constants, Bahrain made democratic achievements during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King through the enactment of the constitutional amendments that consolidated the principle of equality among all and guaranteed the rights of individuals to exercise their constitutional rights to run and be elected to Parliament. Within the framework of the International Day of Democracy, the images of freedom in the Kingdom of Bahrain are manifested through its unique democratic experience. The past days witness a high popular participation in the by-elections, which confirms the citizens' commitment to democratic principles and the spirit of cooperation and participation to build a prosperous and better future for the Kingdom of Bahrain. And to speak more about the celebration of the International Day of Democracy, which this year falls under the theme, Ensuring effective AI governance at all levels, we were joined earlier over the phone by the first Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Abdul Nabi Salman, who elaborated further. Uh, we as a legislator here in Bahrain, we have taken into consideration um, several changes happening in the world, uh, especially in, uh, when it comes to the economical, social and political issues. And uh, especially oh, in the middle of that, um, the AI changes that's happening around the world. And uh, of course, there were several um, uh, legislations came out from the yeah. Representative Council on the, uh, you know, the other uh, room also. And uh, we have taken into consideration that uh, we as a country, uh, we need to uh, modernize some of our legislations in order to cope with the um, uh, changes happening around the world uh, on those issues. And I think we have managed to do that with the help of the government and the leadership in Bahrain. Uh, we work together as a team of Bahrain. And uh, fortunately, we have managed to uh, uh, do some changes in our legisla legislations and at the same time uh, proposing new legislation, uh, which we'll see uh, very soon in the uh, economic issues uh, mainly and uh, social issues.
the International Conference of Young Parliamentarians that discussed a working paper presented by the delegation of Bahrain's Parliamentary Division on the role of education and its impact on employment. The proposed topic was nominated by the Parliamentary Division among the topics submitted by a number of participating countries to be discussed in the fifth session of the conference through a vote of 55 countries of the Parliamentary Union. The session was chaired by the Chairman of the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee of the Representatives Council and Head of the Participating Delegation, Abdul Aramehi. He highlighted the importance of using modern technologies in education and its impact on youth access to direct employment. He reviewed Bahrain's experience in the use of modern technology in education. For his part, delegation member Ali Al Shahabi reviewed a number of proposed solutions that will contribute to addressing the issue of education and linking it to labour outcomes.